This week on r slash anti MLM. I have crippling depression. Stay till the end to find out what happens when MLM scams have become so prevalent in our town that at church today, our priest felt it necessary to end his homily with church and church functions are not an appropriate place to sell herbal remedies. Story, My Mum and MLMs. Catch me outside, how about that? Disclaimer, my mum is a good person, she's just an immigrant and wants to think the best of people. Do it! Call the police on a Khan. Catch me outside, how about that? I live in a state that is already honest a at home order from the governor. Essential jobs only. I, myself, have been locked up four weeks now. I had to start quarantining before most as I am very immune compromised. I am stocked on food and have a B day so I am all set. So, what does this have to do with the hun, you ask? Keep reading, there is a TL, doctor at the end. Today, I wake up with a raging headache. Just awful and pull the blinds and try to rest. Around noon my dog starts growling at the window, this is common so I just tell him to stop, but he keeps going. I finally pull my ass off the couch and open the blinds. This headache, while not a migraine is definitely causing me light sensitivity. Super fun. Look at and there is a car parked in front of my mailbox screwing around. Which is odd to say the least. I am expecting a package, are the stealing. I am instantly filled with rage. I mean who would steal in a pandemic? How can you be such a shit type of person? I am still in my robe, don't you make me put on pants. If I have to so help me I will lice all your face before I tell you what I think of you. Um, oh, but wait, um, they move on to my neighbor's mailbox. Now, my neighbors who have been out of the country for months and I watch their house, take care of mail, whatever and I know they aren't getting packages so what is going on? I'm getting closer to needing those damn pants. Now, I finally realize what is going on. They pull up to my other neighbors and I see it. This harm is stuffing every goddamn mailbox on the street with a huge white envelope. So, not only is this sorry excuse for a former soccer mum breaking federal law, but she is quite probably spreading COVID-19 to everyone during shelter in place order. Now, at this point I don't know she is a Khan. All I know is I am watching someone put leaves in danger as my neighborhood is mostly boomer or older, very few of us just starting out. And I like some of my neighbors, okay, not all, but some are fabulous, so who does this bitch think she is putting me and them in danger? Time for pants. I saw which way she was going and I knew two things. One, she wasn't making a fast getaway stopping at every mailbox and two, she didn't know she was being hunted. So getting dressed and out the door to the car I did have a couple minutes. I grab pants and my brave the apocalypse bag. Because of my condition, I have a bag that I keep Lysol spray in, bleach wipes some gloves, etc. Um, wiping down carts might be new to some of you but, I was that person everyone rolled their eyes at before cause I have always had to be super aware of germs and contamination. My husband recently gave it the cool new name of Brave the Apocalypse. Anyway, back to the story. I start driving. And there she is. At another mailbox and now I get to see the system. She drives up, the mailboxes are on the passenger side she she has a kid, hanging out the window stuffing these large envelopes. I am sure that child is super aware of touching his face. As I watch him, with a gloved hand, what are those supposed to do with an kid, wipe his nose as he stuffs another mailbox. So now, we have a kid breaking the federal law, um, maybe that is why she had him doing it. He can't be charged as an adult. I don't know. I pull up behind them and grab my phone and start taking photos. She is motioning me to go around so I pull up next to her and take a pic of her face. She is laughing, of course. I pull over to call the police, she swings around saying something, but my windows are up, so I have no idea what she is saying. She brings out her phone and takes a photo, of me. I smile and wave, I stay on the phone and follow slowly behind as she pulls off again. I give the police the make and model of the car, 
I say I can get them the license plate from the pics I have taken. The sun on the plate is making my head hurt even more. However, they already have the plate number. Apparently, I'm not the first to call. I tell them where I am, standard stuff and they say they are on their way. And that is when the Han gets out of her car. Now, I live in a nice area, but I work in a shit area, when I have to go into work, that is, so I'm pretty good fighter. Especially, up against this woman who borrowed her clothes from her teenage daughter. The jeans had me dying when she turned around with the hearts on the butt in sequins, lady you're like 50, and if you ever have the figure for those, um, you lost it along with your dignity. Anyway, back to the fight. Don't get your hopes up, it didn't happen. Took every part of me to make sure the door is locked and my windows are up. This bitch hun, and whatever she might have, is not worth my life, but, it would have been fun and she would have deserved it, um, I will only be able to dream of sweet justice. Han comes right up to my window and starts screaming about what am I doing, blah blah blah. She says I'm scaring her son. I tell her I am on with the cops, in all honesty at this point I wasn't, I was on with my husband and wanted someone to hear if anything crazy happens. I just keep hoping the police are showing up soon. Hun, you are scaring my child. What are you doing? He is 11. My 11 year old son. Me? Yeah, you're the one screaming, I'm on the phone with the cops. Hun, I am doing nothing wrong. Me? That is actual not true. Again, on the phone with the police. Hun. I am just handing out my information for my cleaning product company. I'm working and selling cleaning product. Me? You are not essential and again the cops are coming. And that is when it hits me. My head snaps to the car license plate. It is a MLM company my jaw drops. Me? Ah, you're hun. You're breaking laws and you are a scammer. This is getting better. I am laughing at this point, which apparently pissed her off. Hun, I am doing nothing wrong and it is a crime a federal crime to waste the police resource and call them for no reason. A federal crime. This last sentence she is yelling while trying to jog back to her car all while giving me the finger. I'm going to cry myself to sleep over that one, at this point you can hear the sirens. Federal crime, um, I don't think she knows what those words mean. Unfortunately, I never saw the cops. They called me asking where she was, but she had pulled out onto a major busy street and I couldn't follow. They said they had her name from her plates and, oh yeah, from all the contact information she had left in her trail, um, she is a bright one. I should open the packet, disinfect it and call her upline and rip everyone a new asshole. Thanks for leaving me all your contact information Lisa, you are one of the dumber criminals I have ever met. You are more worthless to society than a wet roll of toilet paper. That pool kid has you for a mom. I really hope no one dies from your selfishness and stupidity. MLM scams have become so prevalent in our town that at church today, our priest felt it necessary to end his homily with church and church functions are not an appropriate place to sell herbal remedies. Are you mad bro? <laughs> Tell me what you're mad for. Ours is a small traditional Catholic parish in a small town outside of a major Midwestern city that has been in a state of post-industrial decline for decades, MLMs prey on these communities because there are a lot of stay-at-home moms and traditional families like ours that are struggling financially. I'm happy that our priest said this, he is probably the most respected person in our entire town so hopefully this will stop Isarginix and Young living from harassing people at our weekly church cookout, dinner like they always do. Yeah,